All right, uh, this time, uh, again, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to solve this quadratic equation. I know I can't solve for x because I have multiple variables, so I can't do that, and they have, of course, they have different degrees. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to factor. Well, first thing I need to do in terms of factoring is I've got to get set equal to 0. So I'm going to move that 4 to the other side, and I'll do that by subtracting 4. So there you go. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to try to factor. So at this point, what we would do is we would uh, use the steps of, of how to factor. So what I've taught you in the past is we're going to take the quadratic and the constant and multiply it together. And we get negative 8x squared. And we will number, want numbers that will multiply to give us that. That will add to give us our middle term, positive 7x. We're either looking for sum or difference. And we can tell if we're looking for sum or difference based on the product. If the product is positive, then you're looking for the sum. If the product is negative, you're looking for the difference. Obviously, this one's negative, so we're looking for the difference of the two factors. Well, 8 only has a couple factor pairs. The difference of these is 7. The difference of those is 2. Obviously, looking for a difference of 7. Because it's a positive 7 and our product is negative, we know these two have to have different signs. And it's a positive 7, so the larger one has to have the same sign. So those are our two numbers that we're going to come over here and replace in our quadratic. Whoops, we got x. The other two are going to remain the same, so 2x squared minus 4. And then now what we can do is we can factor by grouping. So when you factor out your common factor here of x, you get 2x minus 1. I'm going to factor something out of this to make it look identical to that. I think that's something's a positive 4. Remembering that when you factor a binomial, or when you factor a trinomial like this, your answer is going to be a binomial times a binomial. So we have one more step to go. Uh, we're going to factor out our common factor of 2x minus 1 and group together our coefficients. So that actually should all be review. And now the new part uh, in solving quadratics is we're going to set each of these equal to 0 and solve. So again, once you get it in factored form, set it equal to 0 and solve. So we will add 1. Divide by 2, so you get one solution to be 1 half. Over here, you get x equal to negative 4. Again, it is a quadratic. We should get two solutions, and we found those two solutions by factoring.